So basically, the idea that I had was I wanted a, I wanted a girl to float over this pond with just one tree in the background, and I wanted the whole scene to look dead. Um, I was inspired by this Harry Potter scene where I saw Sirius Black losing his soul, and there was this bright light that was coming out from his throat, and that really like stuck with me from this idea. And I wanted to show a sense of conflict, so like there's this one tree in the distance that's still there, and also like her soul sort of leaving her but at the same time she's trying to hold on to it so you can see her arm trying to grab it the way her body is distorted in some areas like the channels are split so that was the idea that I had I wanted that sort of sense of conflict but also the fact that she's losing that part of her the next part was finding the location and this was hard because I knew exactly what I wanted in the image and it was hard to find a location like that I looked around I asked friends and we couldn't find a place and then I happened to stumble upon uh, Hannah's picture and I just messaged and I asked her, could you please send me these places because it's exactly what I'm looking for and she helped me out, she showed me the place and we kept the picture. Uh, capturing the image, so what I did was I took two pictures, actually I took three pictures on that day. I took one picture of Trella with a stool, I took the other picture of uh, just the scene and then I took a picture of uh, just exposing for the sky. And then in Photoshop, I blended all three of them together. I took out the stool. So I used the drum stool because the drum stool has a slight curve to it. So when she's posing and she's uh, lying on it, uh, it is not a flat surface, it's like sort of rounded. So it, it sells the effect better. If I use a flat stool, you could actually make up that she's on a stool. So this at least kept the, gave that curve to her back, which was good. And she really did a great job and posing that way because it's really hard to do that in an open field and sometimes there are people passing by and stuff like that so it was that one shot that I needed but we still had to do it a couple of times and she was such a good sport about it so that was good. The last part of the whole thing was to edit the picture and I knew exactly what I had in my head but I didn't have the skill set to bring it to reality, to bring it on the screen and stuff like that so I had to lower the color temperature down to get it to this dark moody image and I had to desaturate it a lot. I also did a little bit of uh, color splitting so I took the reds and I split it away from her body so it looked like a slight distortion was occurring on her body like you know that soul effect would sell more. And what I also did was um, I created an odd and I wanted to do everything by myself. I didn't want to use a you know, some pictures from the net and then just blend it in. I wanted to create my own image, so I had to create my own art and stuff like that. I had to make it and it was, it took a lot of uh, learning, but I did it. And then I had to figure out how to blend it in and stuff like that, just to sell the effect even more. And Mizzy helped me find some great brushes online, which really helped me in adding to all these effects. You should definitely check out her profile because she's got some amazing digital art. She gave me some opinions what I could do about the whole Ray situation and stuff like that. It wasn't looking that natural. And after a lot of tries and a lot of uh, final copies, I was finally happy with this one and I just settled on it because I know I'm a perfectionist but if I keep going back to edit the image, I will never finish the image. So I just was like, you know what, this is good enough and I'll finish it at that. Thank you for liking the image. Thank you for your beautiful comments. It really means a lot. And I hope this was somewhat informative or at least you could get an idea of what it was in my head. So thanks so much.